Hey everyone, it's Baron from Attack Interactive and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to manage your admin users and their roles. Let me give you a brief information before going to permissions page. Um, so you might want to, for the beginning you might just uh, be the only person that have access to your admin panel but in time you might want to add more people that would have access to the panel. Um, you might want to have editors or, or people who would um, regularly check um, customers, orders, um, manage reviews, or anything like that. So you might, in that case, you might want to limit their um, permissions, um, limit their roles, what they can see over here, so that they won't go and change or even view other information that you have on your admin panel. So for that, um, we're gonna go to our system tab and go on top of permissions. As you can see we have users and role, uh, roles. You're gonna manage your users from here and then you can change their roles. Let's go to um, roles page. Alright here we are at the um, roles page. Uh, as you can see we have two roles right now. We have a test role um, and the admin role. You're just gonna have administrators um, over here. Let's click on that. Okay, you can choose to um, put a different name for the administrators. Let's just leave it like that for now. Role resources. Here you can um, choose to have a custom role. Um, I'm going to be covering it in a second. I'm going to create a new role and then assign users for that. Um, all access, of course, administrators are going to have all access for this panel. They can change anything you want. So it's going to stay at all. And role users. So on the roles page you can assign users for that role so we only have one admin account assigned for as an administrator right now and you can see it over here so let's um, let's go back and create a new role alright so click on add new role and name it so let's let's keep it uh, let's say editor and choose some resources so it's not gonna be all in this case it's gonna be custom so what is what should your editor do um, perhaps they can um, yeah they can edit the catalog let's put it this way they can edit like reviews ratings um, they can edit tags they can have access to perhaps managing products and categories um, newsletters let's um, let's just keep it pages maybe uh, let's just keep it like that and save it so here we have a new editor role so how are we gonna add editors so in that case we have to go to permissions and users now we can assign people for this role let's click on add new user and start creating our account our backend admin editor or any other type of accounts uh, username test one first name test last name test email test at gmail.com um, password so you gotta have a letter and 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 a number in this password and it has to be seven characters the account is active or inactive let's choose a role for this account so it's gonna be an editor so let's choose this uh, leave the rest role alone you don't need that for now so all you gotta do is fill up both parts and click save user so now we created our um, editor account and it's active test one so um let me just log out and show you when we um, log in from that account how is the panel going to be so log out okay so um, the username is going to be test1 and the password alright let's uh, get into the admin panel and see what changes there are what permissions this, this account has so if you can see most of the stuff is not there only the ones we selected are here which can we edit it by this account so they can edit categories um, products tags views newsletter campaigns I mean this um, permissions are, are ve uh, is a very useful tool if you if your store grows and if you need more people to have access to your admin account this is gonna be very useful for you 
All right, this sums up everything we have to say over admin users, permissions, and roles. Once again, it's Baron from Attack Interactive, and thank you for watching this video.